What's going on guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the division system for Call of Duty World War 2 because I do see a lot of confusion out there. There are a lot of people that don't really know how this works, and it is pretty understandable because, you know, this really isn't something we haven't seen before. It's not kind of like Creative Class, but there are some aspects to it that you all know and love, especially when it comes to the perk system. And I really don't know why Sledgehammer said that perks were not going to be in World War 2 because they are, they're just kind of titled differently and they work a different way, but they are actually in the game, so don't worry about that, guys. But to start off, you are going to have to pick one of five divisions, and these divisions are the Airborne Division, and these have SMGs, the Infantry Division, and these guys have the Assault Rifles and just the Rifles in general. The next division is the Expeditionary Division, and they have the Shotguns. The Armored Division next up has the LMGs, and finally the Mountain Division has the Sniper Rifles. But again, you can choose from one of the five divisions and one class of weapons that are tied down to each division. Also, along with the weapon, you can add any attachment or equipment you'd like. So again, there are some aspects to the creative class system in this game but this is where it does get kind of tricky so once you have selected your arsenal and division you can get one skill that is tied down to each division as of now we can only choose one division skill and they are for the infantry the bayonet charge for the airborne you guys get an attachable suppressor or detachable suppressor so very cool the armored division can mount their lmgs onto a ledge or on the ground somewhere and this basically reduces recoil but you can't move so you guys have to uh, you know balance that out a bit and figure out where you want to place your lmg if you are going to be using this skill and for the mountain division you can block out your surroundings and acquire aim assist and see the enemy names while holding your breath and finally the expeditionary division gets a dragon's breath shotgun shell so very very cool stuff right here now once you have picked your division and the arsenal you can now pick a division training but i'm not sure if each division training is specialized for a certain division but i am hoping that we can select any division training option we want i think that would be the best for call of duty and uh, starting off here with the first division we're going to look at the infantry man three and you're going to notice here that there are three little asterisks by the infantry man and i am kind of thinking that maybe these are like pro perks in a way so uh you can get two extra attachments on a primary weapon you can get one attachment on a secondary weapon but the reason why i say these division training options are like pro perks in a way is because maybe you can level up each division training so say for infantry man one you can get two extra attachments on a primary weapon and then when you level that up to infantry man two you can get one attachment on your secondary weapon so that's why i kind of think that maybe these division training perks are like pro perks in a way but moving on here for the airborne division we have pathfinder 3 and with this you can sprint for a longer distance you also get increased sprint speed and you can also climb over obstacles faster moving on for the armored division they have tanker 3 and they get a rocket launcher as a secondary weapon they also get an extra piece of equipment and they can also throw equipment faster farther while sprinting so pretty cool and for the mountain division theirs is scout 3 and they acquire enemy names faster from a farther distance they also get increased minimap coverage and they are hidden to player controlled streak so that's kind of like the ghost perk and the next up for the expeditionary division their division training is called sapper 3 and they get extra magazines they're immune to shell shock and tactical equipment and they also take less explosive damage but again i'm not sure if each division training is tied down to the certain division so just keep that in mind but once you have picked your division training your division skill your weapon arsenal and your division class you can now pick a basic training and these are for all the divisions it doesn't matter which one you pick every single one is going to have some of these options so the first one we have is called steady and they're immune to shell shock and tactical equipment and they can also sprint for a longer distance next up they have forage and they can swap weapons faster throw equipment faster and also resupply ammo and equipment from dead enemies so that's like scavenger and the next up for the phantom training this is kind of like dead silence so they get quieter movement they take no fall damage and they are invisible to enemy recon aircraft while moving and the next up for hunker they reveal enemies equipment they take less explosive damage for the ordnance basic training uh, score streaks cost less and they can also reroll care packages so this is like hardline and the next for the smoke basic training they get an extra piece of lethal equipment smoke grenades are also tactical equipment for the loaded basic training they get an extra magazine and they can also reload weapons faster and for the scope they can move faster while aiming down sights and they also get an extra attachment on a primary weapon and the next for the undercover basic training they can kill without revealing enemy death locations and they also have no name or reticle color change while targeted so that's pretty cool and the next up for the duelist they can get two attachments on a secondary weapon so these are all the basic training options and this is pretty much what you have to do in order to get your class ready in order to go back into combat you have to choose one of these options every time that you load the game every time that you select your division class this is the little process you have to go through and I kind of like it actually it's a really big change from what we have known from the past like 
couple years since Call of Duty has been active. We haven't had this little process uh, to go through ever. And it is kind of cool. It is kind of fun, actually. So I really am looking forward to playing this game and going through this process. I think there is going to be a lot more mindset into, you know, making your creative class. And you are going to have to pay attention to how the enemy team operates, how they play, and stuff like that. So tell me thoughts about this, guys, in the comment section below. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm a very Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.